happy creativity. Now there's no huge mystery to drawing. Practice is what gets you there. Look at the shapes. You might not know how to draw a rose, but you can draw a circle or an ellipse or a triangle. So look for those basic shapes in the form and put them down as you see them. And with practice, you'll get better at it. Now, I'm not using an expensive piece of paper here because it is a beginner's lesson. So I've done the same as you probably will and just taken a cheap piece of watercolour paper that you get in a basic watercolour sketchbook. I wet the paper and then I put down a wet lemon wash. Now, you can see how that wash has spotted and you've got dark spots and light spots, that shows you that this was a poor quality sheet of paper because a good quality piece of paper would not have done that. But at the same time, you know, those spots are quite interesting. And while I may not be able to control what I do because it's a cheap piece of paper, um, it can still be fun. Now, with watercolour, it's important to start off with a light coloured wash and then each time you go back onto that wet paper, make sure you've got a little bit more pigment with each brush stroke. You can start off with your light warm colours like yellows, your reds, and then you would work in going into your blue tones or your violet tones or your blue greens which would represent the shadow you build up gradually but as I said you start off with wet paper and work wet in wet and then gradually the paper is already drying out and see how when I put a mark down it stays it doesn't bleed away as fast oh I had an accident I spilt water under the paper no worries I just treated it as an area that I could work wet in wet again and I did a bit more brushwork now relax and have fun. Watercolour is ideal for relaxing with. It's no good being uptight and trying to control everything with watercolour because you don't know what you're going to get if it's a true watercolour. As I said, you can gradually build your darks up, but don't start with those darks. Start off light and just play around. You can't get exactly what you plan with watercolour if you're going to let the water do some of it. Now the paper is a lot drier now, so when I put that brush mark down, I'm still getting a nice soft edge because the paper's slightly damp, but it's not bleeding away madly. So each stage of the paper is worked for what that bit of paper will do. I'm putting down the mark for the branch and then I immediately go in and put another colour that's darker onto that branch mark and you can see how it's bled. The, you've got the red brown mark for the branch and then I put a bit of blue into it and it's creating a nice soft edge into that branch. As I said, this isn't going to be a great painting. It's a fun painting. This is what this channel is all about. Paint with fun. It's for beginners. It's for me to show you techniques. Now, the main thing with watercolour is you start off working wet into wet and then you work wet into semi-wet or semi-dry if you prefer. And each time you go in, you increase the density of the pigment on your brush and you gradually build up like that. If you were to go into a deep pigmented wash with a light pigmented wash, you'd get a nasty mark that would open up on your paper. It would be called a cauliflower mark and it's not very attractive. So always keep in mind that when you go back in, you deepen the amount of pigment on your brush. I'm working with a rigger now. I started off working with a mop brush and I worked with a nice pure sable brush and now I'm working with a rigger brush. It's a lot of fun. Dance it around. Just play with it. See how the, the spotting will stay on the paper and it can just be part of the effect of it. They're wonderful fun for a greeting card. Paintings don't have to be too serious. Now, I picked up a piece of pastel there and I put some highlights in with the pastel. 